Let's let us understand about master slave S R flip flop. Let us see how the master slave S R flip flop looks with the help of a circuit diagram. So this entire unit is considered as master, and the other unit is considered as slave. So the input is yes and R. The clock of the master is connected to slave with the help of a NOT gate. So this we consider as QM and QM bar. So output is QS and QS bar. Here the master this one registers the data on one level say let us imagine it registers the data at logic one of the input and that input is transferred to the slave on the other level that is logic zero of the input control signal now to understand better let us understand functional table of master slave is a flip flop functional table functional table of master slave so what are the inputs here s yes, and r the inputs c is the clock output is considered as q plus and q bar plus so if s yes is zero that is s yes, input is zero r input is zero clock is high then you have q and q bar that is your previous state data whatever was stored it will be disappearing next s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 if clock is high then q will be q plus is 0 q plus bar is 1 next 1 and 0 clock to be high the input is 1 and 0 the other two conditions are high high both here it output cannot be defined so we mention as not defined and the finally don't care conditions here the clock is zero in this case also again it will reflect back to q1 q bar especially in this case for falling edge of the clock pulse in the table representation here the fact is that the master is enabled as long as the clock is at one and at the state of master is transferred to the slave when the clock begins to get to be zero. Now, when we assume the condition S is equal to R is equal to 1, the state of the master and the state of the slave becomes unpredictable as we saw in the truth table. Here, it is not defined or undefined. So, let us understand the concept of master and slave with respect to timing diagram. So, for the convenience the timing diagrams of SR master slave is considered here now you can observe first case the slave that is S input and R input so yes it is high at the two junctions and also you can observe your R now during the first clock pulse initially let us assume first clock pulse when S is equal to r is equal to 0 is the first clock pulse so here c is equal to 0 so what happens at this condition output remains in the same state that is qm state so you can observe here whenever s was high the qm is also becoming high till the next r input you can observe here clearly here next when we consider clock is equal to 1 s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1 this is called as set state set here qm becomes 1 qm becomes 1 set state. and similarly the other condition when s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 and c is equal to 0 then again qm continues in the same and the last s is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1 this is called as reset condition we call this as reset mode 
and in, uh, here and the uh, procedure it will be repeated as the process continues so q qm bar is obtained as generally when you observe here qm and qm bar qm bar is always the complement of your qm so q qs is enabled here this qs will be enabled only for the falling edges of the clock pulse that is for logic zero so that's why we consider it here as falling edge clock pulse so this is the overall concept of master slave jk flip flop